on our way to the dogs. I don't know if you can see any of them. They're back there. Going to their annual checkup. There's one. I think that's Wrigley. I don't know why I'm wearing sunglasses. It's absolutely, it's foggy and miserable outside. Um, and it's so frustrating because we built that new fence and we can't get it stained until it's been dry at least, really ideally, two days in a row and for it to stay dry at least 24 to 48 hours after. And uh, Michael and I are having a little polite disagreement because he just wants to get it done and stained. And I'm saying, no, you need to wait until it's dry and do it right. So I'm gonna lose this one. And then I'll be able to gloat in a year when the fence rots and I'll be able to say, I told you so. Hey guys, I'm actually really liking my outfit today. So I thought I'd walk you through it real fast. I'll list the makeup in the description box. Well, it'll all be, but um, it's what I've been wearing nonstop. Uh, T-shirt is from Joe Fresh. Really digging Joe Fresh. Kind of like Old Navy in price point and like design. It's kind of cool. These are Target distressed um, skinny boyfriend jeans. This is an old, I think, Target belt actually. And my Tory Burch Caroline belly flats. So, oh, and my celestial earrings. I'm doing another drug, stall, drug store haul. This time we're at Walgreens. Last month was at CVS. So there's a lot of really cool stuff. And I'm gonna go get some shopping in. So Walgreens is literally right back there. It was really lame. I got a few things, but I want more. There's in my list, in my head, I've got a list. Milani and Physicians Formula. So I'm gonna hit Walgreens too. Getting up to cooking some dinner, and I'm following a recipe again from this month's Southern Living. And it's some funky quesadilla recipe, and I was two-thirds of the way through the recipe when I realized that the recipe didn't make any sense. They call for you to grill and warm up the tortillas first and then put the tortilla filling on a cold tortilla, like, no. So I made the filling according to their directions, but then I'm gonna grill them, or I guess kind of skillet them, like a regular tortilla, like a regular quesadilla. Otherwise, the way they had it was like a funky taco. Whatever. Deep South, Southern Living recipe. Southern Living is good at like the Deep South traditional recipes. I should stick with Texas Monthly if I'm looking for Tex-Mex. So anyway, I can heat this up and I've got my filling all ready to go. It's mostly shredded chicken, rice, adobo sauce, all kinds of stuff. I'll put the recipe in the description box, assuming that it turns out edible. So I'll see you when it's all done. Well, I had to fix the kids a plate because everybody's studying for finals and I can't be bothered to get on camera. But the consensus was it was really flavorful and it was really good. So I recommend the recipe. Uh, the only ingredient I didn't use was adobo sauce and the modification I made was instead of topping it with salsa, I just mixed my salsa in with the chicken mixture. And then I just grilled it like a normal quesadilla. So that was a dinner for Monday night. I'm gonna call it a night, wash my face, let the dogs out, and I'll see you in the morning. So today I'm trying to get a couple videos filmed and the one I'm just finishing up is the What's New in Beauty product releases and I've got Urban Decay Metallic and Creams on this arm and Urban Decay Comfort Mats and Mega Mats on this arm. And I hope that this all comes off and doesn't leave a stain on my arms because I'm going to look a little bit nuts walking around like this. Just so you know, advance, you can skip these. Well, you should watch the video, but you can skip buying the new Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. They're meh, they're just meh. Dinner time. Shane is picking music for a video project he has. It's pretty funny. Um, Sorry, I was a little distracted there. Anyway, I'm making TBLTs for dinner tonight. That would be turkey bacon, lettuce and tomato. I've baked my turkey bacon. I have cut up my tomatoes. Where's my L's? I have washed my lettuce. I have my sourdough bread here. I have fake Miracle Whip, because that is superior to mayonnaise. It's just a fact, don't argue with me. And I have my pasta salad, which is basically a concoction of Russian dressing mixed with Miracle Whip. Some diced up tomatoes and pasta. And this is the turkey bacon I am using today. Lower sodium. And I love that you can make it in the oven, so it keeps the mess down. All right, let us assemble. I said bacon and you just showed up. Yeah, mm-hmm. Look at that masterpiece. That is a beautiful thing. 
You may be wondering what is happening in this. So Michael pretty much sliced off the top of his toe yesterday wandering around barefoot in the backyard at night. Not a smart thing to do. And I'm making him re-clean and redress the wound, but I'm being a terrible, terrible wife because I tried doing it last night and Jake looked at it with me and we both almost vomited. It's making my anal sphincter clench, to be perfectly blunt. So I've laid out all the equipment that he needs and he's, he's doing it this morning, but I can't look. I'm sorry. I love you, babe, but that's just disgusting. Blah. I think he should have gone to a clinic and had maybe stitches. I don't know. It's just, it's bad. How bad does it look, babe? Not great. Not great. That's good. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it. I'm trying to get light. There's no light here. It's still early. Anyway, I'll let you know how the foot goes. No bow. You can't see the, no, it's just the. Oh, yeah, you can see the bow. What? Just oh, my God. Michael. <laughs> the Westies are playing. Hey, guys. Um, I am just reading the comments as they're coming in. Today was the day my bobble bar whole video and private sale got announced. And, you know, I do, unfortunately, talk sometimes about the negative, the very little tiny piece of negativity that comes my way from YouTube. Did have a little taste of it this morning, but whatever. But I rarely address, or I don't address enough. Mimi, I'm talking to the people, sweetie. She's talking too. How awesome so many of you, the vast majority of you. I can't have a serious moment. Right, we shall, why is this not focusing? Doesn't know what to focus on. Focus on my girl. Come on, make your crazy noise. Yeah, Wesley like has to stand. She likes that. I can like lift her off the ground like no, you, this. No, you can, you actually can. I could if I was using my other hand. I can't do it left handed. You're cr oh yeah, she's off. Ow, you're kind of heavy. You're a, little, you're a little bit chunky. You're a little chunky means. It's okay, so am I. It's all good. All right, I have to go back to talking to the people, Mimi. Can we stop? What happens if I stop? She'll kill it on her own. Yeah, we are not Cardinal fans. You kill the Cardinal. Go Cubbies. Right, Wrigley? Okay, like I was saying, I need to address the literally hundreds of you that have commented on today's video and said such wonderful supportive things like I can tell you are genuinely excited for me and for this opportunity with Bobble Bar. You are like my, like I say, my friends that I've never met. So that is so awesome and thank you so, so much for that support. It means a lot to me. And you'll have to know that that wouldn't happen. None of the successes I've had or the opportunities that I've had would have come my way without you guys in my life. So we are all doing this together. So I just, I want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I do want to let you know, I mentioned it in my May Favorites, but I just want to um, put it out there that I do have an unusual amount of sponsored videos coming up in June. They all just kind of fell into my lap at once, and I do seriously consider every single opportunity that comes my way, and I think, is it true to my channel? Is it some a product I would genuinely use or already use? And is it something I think is of value to you, the viewers? So if the answer to that is yes, then I usually, not always, but I usually say yes. But I took your advice, and many of you said that you're cool with the sponsored videos, especially since I make sure you know that's what they are, as long as I don't use them in replace in place of other videos that I make on my channel for you guys. So they will be uploaded on days when I don't normally put up a video. I don't want that to interfere. But I just thought that you guys would really enjoy there's three. It's not like a ton of them. Three? Four? I don't know. Whatever. Um, you'll know them. And I'm really excited for them. And I'm working really hard on them to make them something you would enjoy. So, let's get back to our regular day. I'm going to go write a blog post. And then, tonight, we are taking our group picture of all the team reps. It's sort of like room reps in elementary school. If you're, if you're a parent of an elementary school kid, you'll know what I'm talking about. But these are the team reps for all the different sports teams at our high school and um, we are gathering for a team rep photo if it does not pour down rain on our heads. All right, I got no footage from the team meeting. There's really nothing to see. It was so hot. It is so hot here. Anyway, I'm just washing my face. I'm gonna get in bed, maybe watch an episode of Rosewood and read a book I am reading. What am I reading? London Falling. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Has anyone else read it? It's like about four cops in London and there's this freaky, they're on like a, how do I explain this? 
I don't know, I have to think about it. They're like researching a mysterious death and then the supernatural gets involved. But it's, it's bizarre. It's different. It's dark. It's dark. Anyway, I'm gonna wash my face. Isn't this sexy? This I got from watching Christina, Pretty Shiny Sparkly, and I picked up mine. You can put your hair in there somewhere. Um, I found mine either at Marshalls or Home Goods or TJ Maxx, something like that. I don't even know what it's called, but you can like tuck all your hair in there. So when you lean forward to wash your face, your hair doesn't fall in the water. Cause I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, yay. Okay, I'm going to bed, I'm getting crazy. Good morning, is it Thursday? It is. Boys have a late start today because it's finals and they mix all the schedules up. So I am taking Shane and Mr. Hayden there to <laughs> throw the Starbucks drive-through so they can arrive in style. Yeah. And then I'm getting my hairs done, getting them cut. Should I shave my head? Yeah. Okay. Um, and we were discussing the senior pranks that are happening this week, which are some of them are pretty amusing. I have to admit, like. The senior class put all the furniture from the high school on Craigslist and listed the principal as the point of contact. I think that's funny. If that's the perfect senior prank, nobody gets hurt, there's no vandalism, it's just funny. This is what they look like with no caffeine. <laughs> Boys, you're both about the same amount of hairiness. And my little boy! Basil's getting a little agitated yeah, there. Yeah, this happens sometimes. I know, poor boy. All right, nobody wants to eat dinner tonight, really. We're just kind of foraging. So I just made, I just opened up two cans of hearts of palm and artichoke hearts. I just put a little salad dressing in a bowl and I'm just gonna nibble. I love hearts of palm. Like, I'm obsessed with them. I have no idea if they have any nutritional value, but they can't be bad for you. I mean, that's a plant, so. Bon appétit. Hey, we got a new chair. The flower chair is gone, although I kept the ottoman. And the dogs are kind of like, hmm. So there is the new chair and a half. This is what the whole room looks like now. It's, uh, it's a lot of furniture in here. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm gonna have to get over it because it's not going anywhere. But this way we have a lot of room, a lot of seating, and Bosley is going to love that chair that he did sort of inspire this purchase, not gonna lie. Haverty's couch, Haverty's coffee table, rooms to go, really old rooms to go. Still don't remember where I got this rug, but I love this rug. So I'm trying to get some organizing done. I guess as the school year ends, I'm kind of, I don't know, just reorganizing. So I've started to sort out some of the books. Look, there's empty spaces. So as I was saying, before my battery ran out, I need to rearrange the bookshelves. So the first step is to make room. So I've cleared out most of the books that I don't want up here anymore. These are all of Michael's, not all, many. It's very light of Michael's law books that I think could be weeded down. And then these are all the books that are going to the resale shop, the half price book shop. And then these are some school books, books that the boys had to read for school over the years. And I'm gonna ask them whether they wanna keep them or give them away. And if they keep them, they're going onto their own bookshelves in their room. And these are some more books that are going into their room and some textbooks that need to be sent back before the end of the year. And then these are, their high, they're all their yearbooks, so those need to be re relocated back to their bedroom. Shane already took his up. So there we go. It's a start. And then Michael says, oh, there's more room on the bookshelf? Can I put some books on? I'm like, no. No, you can't. They have to be weeded out and bedded. So I'm just in a little bit of a late spring cleaning mood. The queen has her new throne. The boys won't go near it. Wrigley's all the way over there. Hello, Wrigley. This looks like a little white mop. Bosley, I think you can hear slurping. He's cleaning his feet next to me. He's right there. But anyway, you're the only one who's officially sat on this thing. What do you think, memers? She has nothing to say. I'm a bad 
vlogger. I haven't vlogged all day. We bought some new stuff for the house. I'll show you when we get home. We are at Mellow Mushroom and it's uh, not mellow, it's hopping. You wanna wave hi? No, nobody wants to say hello. I'll see you when I get home. Okay. All right, we're bringing these to the dump, but we gotta smush them to get them in the car. This is the crazy stuff that's gonna end up on America's Funniest Home Videos. This is so not safe. Oh. <laughs> Wait, keep your eyes closed. We gotta get more pressure. Someone should just jump on it. One, two, three. <laughs> it sounds worse than it is. It's like startling. Right, let's do let's that. Just keep doing let's do it. Let's keep doing it. Let's do it, mom. This is totally bonding. Let's just do it. Do not include me in this. No, it's it's no big deal. It's just that the sound is oh, kind of like it's like startling when you hear it. Oh so my like, god. What the heck's going on? It's just it's just carbon. It's right? just you, gotta, you gotta do it over here, right? right one, two, three. Close your eyes. Oh my Dad lord. Dad keeps like falling over. Cause I'm, you know, I'm old, man. Okay. <laughs> this one that doesn't need it. No. These, these ones do, these small ones. Yeah. I mean, you probably don't have to, but... No, 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 those are too small. You don't need to one. do those. We're doing these. These ones we gotta do, right, buddy? How are you gonna get... Them? Yeah. Shoot. I'm glad you're having fun. Hey. We did a little rearranging. This used to be on the other side of the couches, and it's here now. That was where the other one was. There's the new chair. It's a little cozier. It's a little more closed in feeling, but it's really nice for the whole family to get together and everybody has space, including this man over here. Who is looking at us, hello, Bosley. But it is time to say goodnight. I can hear Michael snoring. Can you hear it? Listen. <laughs> so we're gonna say goodnight and we'll see you tomorrow. Say goodnight, Bosley. Good night, Bosley. All right, it is 12.30, and I am serving up breakfast <laughs> to Shaney. We've been doing a little rearranging of things. This is the latest incarnation. We are fully aware now that all the furniture is too big for the space. The only thing that's staying in this room long term are those bookshelves. Everything else is going to go bye-bye, but not today. Shane is studying for finals. Here you go, babe. De nada. Disfrute. These are some new pillows that are going on the outdoor furniture, but it was raining, so we brought it inside. There's the new. So the carpet staying. That's new. Got that at Home Goods yesterday for 120 bucks. But these pieces are much too big for the room, as is that. Pretty, but that table thingy. So eventually we're gonna get a smaller, probably glass table and small little chairs to sit around here, I think. That's the plan. Nothing changing here. Nothing changing here. Well, we have the new rug, but we're not putting it down until family comes because we don't want any Accidental peeing to happen just yet. Mimi had her bladder nicked when she had when she got spayed, so that's why sometimes she pees in the house. So anyway, now I'm gonna get dressed and run a few more errands and uh, probably call it a vlog pretty soon. Back from Target, I bought a 24 no 48 count of my new favorite caramel macchiato. I picked up these straws in the dollar spot. They're red and blue. They are Ole Miss colors because we're having a little graduation get together. My mom and dad and my aunt are coming, so this could be fun. We picked up some more marshmallow skewers because you can never have too many of those for roasting marshmallows. And we picked up a new baby gate, although we have no babies in our family. We got this thing. This is the number one selling safety gate in the UK, apparently. But anyway, we have this gate, which is nice, but it's very high and you cannot get over it. We've decided we're going to quarantine the dogs to this side of the house from the tile side. It's just more convenient when people come to the front door. I don't have to worry about the dogs running up to the door. Um, it confines any ooh, doggy accidents to this side of the house. So it's kind of nice. Um, yeah. So anyway, so we got a new gate that has like a swinging doorway in it so you can open and shut it if you want to go in and out of the dining room on that side. So we're going to put that together. It's just pressure mounted. There's no construction necessary. Hi, Bosley. Oh, the Westies are sunbathing. It's so cute. Let's see if I can show you. Hey, guys. 
It's 90 degrees outside, and you're laying on AstroTurf. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> so cute. I might, get, I might have to get in the water today. Definitely tomorrow. Possibly today. We're getting a little dinner at our HEB before we do a little Sunday night grocery shopping. And Shane is at home studying for Spanish final and Jake's at work. Check out this burger. We got this at a grocery store. That is a ahi tuna burger. That's crazy beautiful if you're into that kind of thing. It's also very windy. So anyway, pretty cool, huh? At a grocery store. So we're gonna end the vlog here where Bosley has discovered the fun of eating ice cubes. He is having the time of his life. I don't know why. We've tried to give him ice cubes to chew on for years and no interest. One just fell on the floor and he went crazy. So we put a bunch in his food bowl, in his water bowl, and he's probably not great for his teeth, but I've never, I haven't seen him get this excited about anything in a while. And at this point in his life, anything that makes Bosley happy pretty much makes me happy. So there you have it. Well, another week done. Thank you for hanging out with us. And don't forget that there's also a blog post about my vlog each week, just with some reflections and extra stuff. If you want to read more about that, check out the blog post. Enough self-promotion. I'll see you guys on Tuesday for my next regularly scheduled video. Have a great night. Bye. I heard that Trader Joe's had peonies. Look at this. Look at all the peonies. Look at these. These are so beautiful.